thank you for being here. Today we will talk about the Kubernetes Gateway API, the new Kubernetes Gateway API or the relatively new Kubernetes Gateway API and how you can use it or why you might want to use it with Apache API 6. So a little bit about me. So I'm a maintainer of Apache API 6. I used to work on some CNCF projects related to service meshes and stuff and I also try to uh, contribute back to the open source community by being a mentor through the Google Summer of Code and the LFX mentorship program. So I'm mostly active on Twitter. So if you want to talk to me, you can find me online at Twitter. So I really wish I could have been there in person to talk to you, but uh, unfortunately I can't. But you are in great hands of my colleagues. So if you have questions about the talk on Apache API 6, on the Kubernetes Gateway API or, or anything related to API management, you can talk to my colleagues. So they'll help you answer your questions. Uh, so we have Jintao, Ming, and Yuan Sheng at ApacheCon. So definitely find them and speak to them if you have any questions. Or else you can also find me online and then reach out to me directly. I'll be happy to help you out. So let's get on with today's topic. So we are here to talk about the Gateway API, but to talk about the Gateway API, we need to understand how the Gateway API has evolved. So the Gateway API is the result of a series of evolutions and it, it didn't just come out of the box. So to understand and use the Gateway API, I think it is important to understand this evolution. So in Kubernetes, everything is a pod. So technically, we can just spin up pods, deploy our services in a pod, and then just expose those pods, right? But as you know, in Kubernetes, pods are just temporary. They come up and down uh, arbitrarily, uh, depending on how you are doing things. So it is unreliable to just point traffic to a pod. So that's where another abstraction called services comes in. So our service, is used to uh, expose traffic, uh, expose external traffic to a pod, and uh, it does through uh, does does it through cluster IP, node port, and a load balancer. So a load balancer can be even used to uh, configure an external load balancer so that the, the the external load balancer can direct traffic to your to your services. But services does a lot of things really well but like it is kind of limited you can't do complex stuff like traffic routing uh, and a whole lot of stuff you expect to have in in a service or like uh, in a load balancer right so uh, so that's where the ingress api comes in ingress api is a kubernetes uh, Kubernetes API that lets you do traffic routing and uh, it, and and a lot of stuff as we will see and it is a standard API so you can use the ingress API across uh, across your Kubernetes clusters across your deployments and it is a standard similar to like uh, how you configure a pod or a service so you can use this Kubernetes ingress API to define how your traffic is routed into your Kubernetes clusters. And the Ingress API is just a specification, a standard, an API, and it has 20 plus implementations uh, from which you can choose how to, uh, how, to, how to direct traffic, right? So one such implementation is Apache API 6 Ingress. So Apache API 6 Ingress is a combination of the Apache API 6 API gateway and an ingress controller and apache api 6 is is itself built for cloud native and it is built for high performance and it is hosted by the apache software foundation obviously and you can learn more about the project at api6.apache.org so let's put some demo where our mouth is and then just look at some uh, look at some code and see how all of this works right so in this example, we'll deploy 
two sample applications the which are just basically nginx uh, servers so one is left and one is right and it just responds back left when you uh, when you send a request to it and it just responds back right when you send a request to it and we have deployed it in the kubernetes cluster and now we have apache api 6 which is the ingress of the ingress controller that is directing traffic to the to the your services so you have your upstream services here and api 6 sits in front of it and uh, routes traffic to this and we'll use we'll just send curl uh, we'll just use curl and then just send some request to it and see how it all works so initially if we send a request to the left path api 6 should route the request to the left service so let's see how that works in action so let me just quickly switch to um, the terminal i hope this is clear enough so let's see uh, so this is the ingress uh, this is the ingress api this is the this is our configuration which we had defined using the ingress api so it's it comes inbuilt within kubernetes and it's of kind ingress so what we have here is we have defined how the traffic should be routed and this api 6 will take this configuration and use it to route traffic so it is completely declarative so what it says here is uh, uh, there is if the request comes to the path left and just route it to the service that that is named left if it comes to the path right gen, then just route it to the service name right so that is quite straightforward right so let's see let's see it in action let's see so i'll just apply this uh this ingress definition and now if i curl to the exposed endpoint we'll get a response back uh, from the backend service now instead if i go to the other if i if i choose a different path i'll get a response from the other path so that's a pretty straightforward right and uh, ingress is not just about routing it you can do a lot of complicated stuff even with routes so if you go back to another example so in this case uh, the client application is sending a request to left slash app path but uh, the api6 ingress controller it should just forward the path app to the backend services so if it is left slash app it should just route it to the left service and remove the remove the left prefix from the from the request and uh, this is a pretty common use case of uh, using an ingress controller or an api gateway so let's see uh, to do something like that it gets a bit more complicated so first let's uh, First, just let's just remove the uh, the current configuration and we'll configure something new. So to do something like that, we need to have we need to add annotations. So in this example, we have a custom annotation specific for Apache API 6. So we are using a regular expression to find out if it is if there is a prefix that is left or right and then rewriting it to just remove those that prefix before forwarding it to the upstream service so the rest of the stuff remains same we are just uh, updating the uh, the uri or the path in the request to say something different and the key here is that to do something like this we have to use annotations so let's see let's see this in action All right now if we go to left slash app it will be routed to the left service 
but the path will be just app now if we if we do something like this the left the left prefix is removed from the uh, removed from the the new request that is forwarded to the upstream now instead let's say if we go to uh, right it should route to the right service and then uh, remove the prefix right so that's what exactly happens so the important thing here is that annotations are cumbersome so this is okay when you have just two annotations but as your requirements get more complex you end up having to use a lot more annotations and these annotations are specific to api 6 so it defeats the whole purpose of having a common specification like the ingress api and uh, it makes it very less portable so if you decide to switch api 6 with some other uh, some other gate some other ingress controller implementation you are left to like change these annotations and it, it won't work out of the box so so these ingress controller implementations they came up with something a little bit different so instead of using a standard api like the ingress api uh, service uh, the ingress the ingress controller implementations like apache api 6 came up with their own custom resource definitions so in this example we have a crt defined specifically for api 6 it's kind api 6 route so instead of using the ingress api we can use the crds to configure api 6 and the advantage of this is that it is more native so instead of using annotations you can use a uh, more native or more yamli kind of like more configuration kind of uh, uh, kind of way to configure api 6 so so in, in this is the same example we are re rewriting the request before sending it to the upstream so uh, we use regex and we rewrite the uri but the configuration looks a bit more cleaner right now so let's first uh, delete this oh. yeah. okay and then let's apply apply the new configuration now if we send a request oh Did I forget to apply it? Yeah. Okay. okay so I, I i i kind of messed up so instead of this it should be a query string so side equal to left okay so uh, i i made a slight change in this configuration so instead of the instead of the path this this configuration expects a query as it mentioned here uh, so it, it it was my oversight and uh, so what happens here is, is if you query side is equal to left it will just rewrite the path to be rewritten so uh, that's a bit more complex stuff than what we did before like you can read out query strings you can read out uh, you can completely rewrite paths and that is something that is capable with custom crts okay so so we are at the ingress controller uh, level in the evolution process right now but what we have discovered is that ingress controller or the ingress api is quite limited right to do complex stuff you require either custom annotations or you have to discard the ingress api completely and then just use crds and this makes it not portable 
you are locked in with a particular ven vendor and there is no standard way in which you can extend or add features to the ingress api so that's where when we reach the gateway api so gateway api is an entirely new api it is supposed to be I like at least like in principle it is an evolution on top evolution after the uh, ingress api but it is entirely separate from the ingress api ingress api has not been updated to be the gateway api both gateway api and ingress api are available in kubernetes right now so the ingress api is a bit more expressive so you can you are able to like uh, define express or express how the configuration should look like in a native kubernetes format without having to use annotations or any of the other hackeries and it is extensible so depend if you are an a if you are an api gateway or if you are like an ingress controller uh, project you want to have a certain way to extend the gateway api and add your own features because some of the features that the gateway api supports might not be enough for your uh, your ingress controller implementation and it's entirely role oriented as well so that basically means like uh, each at each level of uh, there is a multiple there are multiple abstractions at each level in the application development process so as an application developer you might only want to like care about how you can create routes and your cluster operator can manage the entire gateway for the system and your infrastructure provider can uh, be on top of that in another layer of abstraction so these are separate and uh, the application developer don't have to worry about access or they just have to focus on creating application specific routes uh, with the gateway api so let's see this in action so basically what we will do is uh, we have the gateway api uh, so instead of the ingress api we will use the gateway api and we'll do we'll try to do some similar configuration so we are just using the uh, new api instead new the new gateway api instead of the ingress api so let's see this in action okay so the gateway api is not available in on kubernetes by default it is still in alpha release so it is de it is definitely new so and the implementation of the gateway api for example the implementation in apache api 6 is still in its early stages so this spec, this API is continuously evolving and there is a lot of activity going around it. So, so we are an application developer and we only care about the routes, right? The rest of the stuff is provided by the infrastructure or, or your cluster operator. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. So we'll use, do the same configuration. So we'll create a rule that matches the query like we did before and uh, it should just route requests based on queries so let's first delete uh, the previous configuration okay and then apply the apply the http route right okay now if we just send a request to this this should hopefully work all right so now we did the same x the same configuration but uh, we have added like we are using the gateway api to achieve this and you can also do complicated stuff so like we did before so we can just rewrite the url uh, using the gateway api as well and this is uh this is built into the gateway api you don't have to use annotations you don't have to use or you don't have to rely on apis this is custom crds this is pretty standard so even if you switch the your ingress controller from apache api 6 to any other this configuration will still remain valid it doesn't depend on the underlying implementation of the ingress ingress controller it just it is, it is just a standard specification so let's first try to Mm, let's delete the the existing configuration let's see and then let's just try let's just try applying the 
uh, the filter right so it basically it's a filter it's a rule and it contains a filter it requires the url so you want to replace the uh, the replace the entire path with the rewritten uh, rewritten path so whatever your request might be it will be it will be uh, changed and based on the query parameters we will route the request exactly as the one we tried before so we get an error and it says uh, there is an error validating the uh, validating the specification because it's not part of the specification so what really happened here is that this particular feature this particular feature that allows you to filter uh, filter your request it is not actually available uh, not actually available uh, yet it is still experimental so we have to use an experimental release to instead of the v1 alpha v1 alpha 2 release to actually leverage that feature so when you are trying to do something you need to make sure that it is available so it is still under development people are still testing it out the implementations like api6 are still trying to figure out how to better implement the gateway api so it's still in its early stages but it is promising so you be if you are using the gateway api be prepared to have similar configurations why doesn't it work and it's experimental right so what is next for the gateway api what does the future of gateway api look like so uh, the gateway api is still under quite an active development a lot of projects and developers have come together to improve this project and standardize networking in kubernetes so even like service mesh projects have joined the effort to become uh, a single api to manage everything so api gateway service meshes everything you can manage with the gateway api so since everything is in still in the early stages the api and the implementations i would suggest to keep using the crts keep using specific crts right now if if they are available in your ingress controller implementations and you can compromise a little, little bit of portability so mostly like if you if you are using api6 you might want to stick to api6 you want to you might, you might want to keep using api6 so you can sacrifice a bit of portability and use that to channel that sacrifice to have a better configurability of api6 so when we are talking about a specification or standards i just have to show this uh, xkcd comics so there are mul there can be multiple standards and if each standards end up competing with each other with each other it won't work so like but in the case of a in the gateway api there seems to have a lot of adoptions so instead of get the gateway api being a, just a new standard people are starting to adopt it it is being widely uh, it is being widely used and even projects like istio are planning to use the gateway api as their uh, default way to configure istio so i'm pretty bullish about the gateway api and you should be too so to learn more about the gateway api you can find this uh, you can go to this url gatewayapi.6.k8.io there is a lot of active development going on there so you'll definitely check that out so that's it uh, thank you and if you have any questions feel free to ask them to my colleagues they'll be happy to help you out or if not like you can learn more about the gateway api project you can uh, learn more about how api6 works with the gateway api project how the gateway api project evolved by scanning this you, this qr code it will redirect you to uh, a blog post i wrote so definitely check that out if you are interested so thank you and enjoy the rest of the conference